Hi and welcome to All Football Shirts. In this video I am going to show you what your vendor dashboard looks like, how to set up your vendor image and how to set up your profile so that it looks like a professional shop whether you are an individual seller or a shop that you has previously used eBay or Depop to do this. So since you've already registered, your first step is to go straight over to the login at the top of your screen. Then enter your login details that you have saved and log in. When you log in, it will take you straight to your shop. And in this section, as you have sales, you will then be able to see all the commissions you get. What we're going to do today is we're going to look at store settings and I'm going to show you how you can add information that you need to have for your shop, as well as your profile image and header image. One important thing to mention is can you please put in the country where you reside and your shop operates from? Because at the moment, we are only able to have UK based sellers. We are very much hoping to move to phase two um, soon, where we will then be able to have international sellers but at the moment, our shop, our website is only available for UK based sellers, but you can ship to anywhere in the world. And there will be another video to show you how you can add your shipping settings. So once you've done that and you're ready to add any profile pictures, you click upload vendor profile image. Now I have already added um, some images to my media library. But if you need to add images, you go to upload files, select files, and then from there, you will be able to upload those images that you want for your shop. So I am going to choose my background and I'm going to click use image and then my vendor header image search. Again, I've already uploaded and I'm going to click use image. And all I've got to do is scroll down and click save options. On this same page, you can also add any extra information that you want. You could add a short store description. You could add the URL to a website. You can add your Twitter, your Facebook, any of those pages that you use. But again, make sure you click save options after. Then if you head over to the payment section, it's always a good idea to just double check that in the payment section, your PayPal address is correct. So once we've got that, you can see how that's set up. Now, if I was to quickly hover over all football shirts in the left hand side of the corner, I can click visit store and it will take you direct to your store page and you can have a look at what your store would look like. OK, and at the bottom, you will be able to see how many sales that you have made. And as we list products, you will be able to see any products you have. To return back to the dashboard page, again, you click hover over the All Football Shirts logo and click Dashboard. Now, when this comes up, don't be confused by this page. This is quite a coding page. Just hover over Screen Options and click it, and you can take off all of the bits that you don't want to see on it and all you have are your product reviews. And then remember, if you click on your shop, it will bring you back to this screen, which is where we will be using, um, and I will be showing you how to set up shipping in the next video.